So I promised my one commenter that I would do more mathy stuff. So I hope you guys have noticed that on my um, timeline, I've started including some things like formulas every EE should know, units every EE should know, so that we can start connecting some of the math you learn in calculus or in your physics classes to the reality of what you'll do in engineering. But also, I just want to say that some people see math, especially in high school and calculus, when they send you a worksheet full of problems to do home as busy work. But I will say, especially in electrical engineering, there's no such thing as too much math. And you want to get to the point that some of that stuff is just sitting in the back of your mind because you've done it so much and you don't have to grab a calculator or grab your book for every formula. So doing some of that to build your math muscles is important. Things I see from my students that they struggle with that we need to get them better with is quickly being able to find the equation of a line given two points right? Being able to do some quick derivatives like constants, exponentials, cosine, and sine. Um, derivatives and integrals for so some of the basic ones, right? No chain rule or no integration by parts, but there's just some things you just have to be able to do quickly because you need them for your engineering class and not just for the math sake. So doing math and having some things just sitting right there on the edge of your brain so that you can quickly get to work on what you need to do is my advice for today. So practice, practice, practice. Stay stemtastic.